I want to talk about depression because that's something that I've experienced a lot through my life. Rather, as a Christian, as an atheist, you know, it doesn't matter what you are. Depression can grab hold of you. And the big difference with being an atheist is you don't have people telling you that depression is a sin, that you just have to trust God more, and you can just like actually deal with the problem in a scientific way. But it's real and it's hard. And you know, my depression recently brought about way too much politics, way too much world events, much too deep into the Russian invasion of Ukraine, spending way too much time seeing what's going on there, making videos about that for my TikTok channel, as well as uh, getting too involved in the war in Israel and Gaza, and seeing the horrible atrocities there, as well as making some really big financial mistakes, doing some really stupid things, and trying to figure out what the hell am I going to do to fix this? And so that depression's been hitting me heavy, and we've hit fall. Today was completely disgusting, completely rainy, really awful, and you know, we're looking at kind of a week of that, and I certainly, when I lived in, in Washington State, suffered from seasonal affective disorder. I still feel like I've got some element of that, like on a gray, cloudy day, uh, my mood just gets much, much darker. Uh, you know, things that go wrong see much bigger, much bigger clouds over my head. And, you know, sometimes I struggle even with those um, self-harm thoughts. I don't, would not consider myself in any way super but uh, self-harm thoughts do come. I have never acted on those self-harm thoughts, but they're there. Uh, I'm arachnophobic, sort of think of them like, okay, it's the spider in the web on your wall that you just sort of have to uncomfortably deal with. And that's what it is. And so that's kind of the situation that I find myself in sometimes. And it's like, okay, Brian, you gotta breathe, make sure you're eating. That's something else uh, sometimes, like with this depression, I will oversleep, I will skip breakfast, or I'll eat breakfast and skip lunch. That's not healthy. Need to make sure that I'm getting those, you know, three meals a day. If you're also struggling with depression, make sure that you're getting three good meals a day. Don't just like fill up on the sugar and the carbs. Uh, make sure, you know, I enjoy like gluten-free oatmeal in the morning with fruit and milk and like make that nice, you can put some nuts in that, get that nice and hearty. And then for lunch and dinners, I'll cook up like some chicken breasts like once or twice a week. And then I'll chop them up, put them in a grill pan and I will, you know, mix them with rice and vegetables and grill those up, get them nice and crunchy, nice and crispy. So good, uh, put some spices on them and just like fuel my body with all the really good vegetables, you know, broccoli, all that kind of stuff, but in a way that I enjoy eating, you know, that helps boost my mood. And I've noticed when I don't do that, which honestly I haven't done for the last few days, because I've been in a big funk, things get a lot better, like when you fuel yourself right. And so I'm gonna really work on fueling myself right. Uh, something I'm gonna be working on is getting back into exercising. I've not been exercising, that always helps. I've got an exercise bike. Get on that guy, ride for 10 or 15 minutes even, get those endorphins pumping, and that helps a lot. Another thing I wanna make sure I'm doing is continuing to make YouTube videos, talking to you guys, because I really enjoy uh, that as a little bit of a creative outlet. It's not incredibly difficult, uh, as well as, you know, get out with friends as much as I can. I don't, you know, always have enough time for that between work and YouTube and all these other things, but I need to make some time for that, like at least once every week or two, get out and hang out with some friends because that is so, so important for mental health and not just like staying sitting at my computer inside all the time as the weather gets nastier. It's harder to get out, it's harder to get that motivation to go and do something when it's pouring rain or just really oppressively gray. But that's my goal is as I go into this winter to make sure I don't get into that funk, make sure that I'm doing healthy, positive things, make sure that I am doing what I can to kind of fix my financial situation, working to fix that in hopefully some really positive ways and kind of get my life back on track, get a lot of positive things going so that even if the depression is there, 
it's in the background, it's not in the foreground, it's not like the spider's in my face, it's like the spider's way back there and I can kind of forget about it. So that is my hope and my goal. Let me know if you struggle with depression. Love to hear if you are depressed, kind of how you deal with that. I used to take medication. I hated how the medication made me feel. I hated the side effects. I take supplemental vitamin D and that helps a lot as well. But like if you're depressed, just make sure you're doing a lot of things. Make sure you've got people in your corner, people who know so they can like check on you because it can spiral really, really fast. Like sometimes it doesn't take much to spiral me from, oh, I'm just having kind of a day to battling a little bit of those self-harming thoughts sometimes. So I just wanted to share that. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure if you know people who struggle with clinical depression, you're checking in on them, not in a way that's gonna make them feel like a burden, but just, you know, like, hey, what's up? How you doing uh, occasionally? Or if you see that they seem kind of in a negative spiral through social media or just kind of notice it in person, you know, check in on them, give them a hug if they're a hugger, stuff like that. So. Just wanted to share all that with you guys. I hope that you enjoy and I will catch you in the next video.